athletic competition with our review of Torino 2006. It's pure because no one cares about it. Like children. And because most of the sports involved are pretend. See, a skeleton is not a sport. It's a low-level undead. And we've got And One Street Ball, a game we previewed before but never came out. So we're previewing it again. And we preview a stealth game for the PSP and review a Frogger game also for the PSP. But first up, the Olympics. No one watched them. No one cared except for the over-involved mothers of child ice dancers everywhere. Now you can capture the majesty of international athletic competition without all the humanity and text you're getting in the way. Here's our review of Torino 2006. Yo, 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 kids, it's me, Glil. I'm the official mascot of the Torino Winter Olympic Games. Wait, where are you going? Don't you want to watch ski jumping? Well, what about speed skating? Well, you must love cross-country skiing, right? I mean, uh, every kid loves cross-country skiing. Get out of here, Gliz. X-Play is no place for a cheery, upbeat cartoon character like you. This is a place where we review video games. Some of them are good. Some of them are... Torino 2006, the official video game of the 20th Olympic Winter Games. Ugh. Like Bodie Miller's medal count, Torino 2006 is a big disappointment. Wow, he's taking the gate with him. It combines the agony of defeat with, well, nothing. It's just the agony of defeat. And that's the end of his race. The main problem is the lack of variety. This game only has a handful of basic gameplay types. Downhill skiing, ski jumping, speed skating, bobsled and luge, and of course, the biathlon. Finally, a game for people who love to ski cross country and shoot things. The makers of the game excluded every other event, so don't expect to play anything fun. Snowboarding? No. Ice hockey? Not there either. The least they could have done was to make up some fun fictional games. How about a vice presidential biathlon where you ski cross country for two miles and then get shot by Dick Cheney? Ah. Most of the games are played with timed rhythmic button pressing. It works okay, but it really makes controlling your proud, graceful Olympian feel like a mind-numbing chore. Oh, forget about that jump. The best events are the luge and bobsled competitions. They sport a first-person view that's intense, and the controls are intuitive. Just steer with the analog stick to avoid rubbing up against the wall. But being the best event in Torino 2006 isn't exactly a difficult challenge. The rest of this game is so dull, it's no wonder it's sponsored by No Dose. No Dose, keeping you awake during the Olympics since 1936. The sportscasters do a good job of simulating how boring TV commentary actually is. Did you know that alpine skiing became an Olympic discipline in 1936 in Garmisch Partenkirchen? And that year only the combined was held. Oh, right. Fascinating. On top of that, Torino 2006 lacks the names and images of specific athletes in the Olympics. You're always playing as an anonymous, nameless citizen of whatever country you choose. So this is an Italian athlete. Here comes the American. And the competition is no different. Damn you, Computer 4, we'll meet again. Even at the low, low price of 20 bucks, this game can't capture a bronze. Torino 2006 gets a one. I'm sure he's satisfied with that. Yeah, I think so. Out of five. Oh, come on, Adam. That's not very... Oh, my heart! Oh, For God's sakes, Mr. Cheney, I thought he was annoying, too, but he's just a cartoon character. Oh, jeez. I thought he was made of ice. Look at all that blood. It's all about the blood. Sweet, life-giving blood. Mwah! Mwah! Mwah!